Hey there, people! I'm your friend and able list player Spider Man. Welcome you back to Listen Blind Simple We Park. As we left off, uh, we found the sheriff and the uh, mortician, Mort E. Sean, and uh, whatever the sheriff's name was. Anyway, I forgot to do something with these uh, machines. The mortician said that we can actually talk to them, and I forgot to do that. So let's talk to the Arrestron. <laughs> Okay, so it knows what. I'm sure that I did, that is an actual correct answer. I'll take your word for it. Not gonna be looking up on a calculator or anything. Describe your my primary function. If you're gonna go with Robocop, I'm gonna commend you. The arrest run 3000 trademark S primary function is to take reports from the blood run 3000 trademark. They're doing the a trademark, trademark thing. I do that. Trademark and the face run 3000 trademark and issue an arrest warrant for the obviously guilty suspect. Okay. I do that trademark thing. I recently live streamed all of the Monkey Island three, the first three Monkey Island games, and whenever there was in the first two games, there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, names uh, said, like the island names or character name or whatever. There's a little trademark at the end of the name, and I always said the trademark, like they went to Monkey Island, trademark, or welcome to Melee Island, trademark. This is Fat Island, trademark. I always did that trademark thing. And you! You do the same thing! Yes! I've always wanted that to happen in games where there's uh, voice acting and if the trademark is there, they need to say it. It belongs in the freaking dialogue. After the arrest run 3000 trademark, generates the arrest warrant, the scumbag criminal is arrested, jailed, and toils away making license plates with little chance of release. The job of the detective, agent, or law enforcement personnel is done. I didn't expect the uh, machine to call criminals scumbags. Now if it were meatbag, then that would be a different kind of a droid. If they weren't guilty, they wouldn't have been arrested. The arrest run 3000 trademark is invaluable. Skipping a trial spares the family's pain and suffering and millions in court costs. The arrest run 3000 trademark is invaluable. The arrest run 3000 trademark. The arrest run 3000 trademark. I hope I didn't break it. Court dump in progress. I Number broke three. it. Loading checkbox 3.4, loading drivers, loading high mem dot size, welcome to a restaurant 3000 size. trademark, 64k RAM system, 38,911 basic bytes free. It's a Commodore 64! It's a Commodore 64! Woo! Best computer ever! Awesome! You should recognize those uh, RAM and everything. That's a Commodore 64. And I know where to find the other Tron machines. I mean Tron 3000 trademark machines. Control Alt Delete. Close program. Yeah, it doesn't really just close program. That uh, it's turn off the computer. Well, let's go talk to the other uh, other machines in the coroner's place. So let's see what you say, Mr. Bloodtron 3000 trademark. The three laws of robotics. Let's see if it knows it. Yes. I'll be more specific. What are the three laws of robotics? One, a robot may not injure a human being or who in action, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party light hits 1999. Well, it was supposed to be three laws, and uh, you say four laws, so your laws are kind of flawed. F Lord, but I, at at least the uh, it were it was the accurate loss of robotics. 
set by Isaac, set by Isaac Asimov. Yeah, I don't think Party Like Night, it's in 1999, is one of them. It should be. Everybody should party like it's 1999. It should be. He agrees with me. Yeah, I like you, Bloodtron. 3000, trademark. Primary function. The primary function of the Bloodtron 3000, trademark. Patent pending. Is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. I would think that the patent would be pending with these machines. They're working machines working on the in this town. Unless they want to sell these uh, machines to other police stations in the future. You never know. How do I take this little blood sample? Procure a swab or other absorbent material and have some blood on it. Huh. The easiest then. How do I analyze it? Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I... I mean the blood drawn 3000. Trademark will confirm a positive match. It said I. I think these machines are sentient. They're just hiding that they're just machines, but they're not. Hmm. Enough computing for me time. Yep. Okay, Fingertron 3000 trademark. How far from Duluth, Minnesota to Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania? 1070 miles. Somebody look that up if it's real. How many miles from the Earth to the Sun? The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. 93,000 miles. I... I think that's correct, maybe. What about the perihelion? At its closest orbit, the sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. How many miles to the nearest galaxy? The Andromeda galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Yeah, I think that's accurate. And also, many people always, many people forget that light year is a distance, not time. It's not, it, it's not, you don't say, it'll take uh, you about one light year to get there. No, that's the distance. It's about one year light, one light year away from you. How much would would woodchuck chuck give a woodchuck woodchuck wood? Seriously, you've been playing too many adventure games. Hey, don't you be dissing Monkey Island too. A woodchuck can't chuck in any modern move because I have woodchuck can't chuck wood. Gotta say it properly. Otherwise... Well, primary function. The primary function of the Fingertron 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest on 3000 trademark. trademark. Patent pending. Again, patent pending. Huh? Okay. Uh, where do I find the registry it's known criminals? Actually, I over it. To solve this whole crime for you, you're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Only if I get stuck. Only then. Otherwise, I don't. And also, you said I again. You were directly saying you. You guys are sentient. Maybe there's somebody controlling them. They're not really machines, they're just somebody operated by a computer. That would make more sense. Well, I should go, your CPU is probably getting really hot. Entering hibernation state. Yeah, you do that. So, what is the meaning of life? Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your guard. So rent your guard? Huh. Didn't think that you'd be quoting philosophers. Why is there something rather than nothing? There has to be something. DJ Rundle. So, Bloodtron is, uh... uh at least they have all their personalities. Their own personalities, that is. Didn't think that the face Tron would be philosophical. Well, actually, that makes sense, because it's a face. Do we have free will? God is not willing to do everything, and just take away our free will and that share of glory which belongs to us. Did I think that it would be quoting Machiavelli? Are you going to try to kill me with business? Does God exist? If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Well, that's how it happened anyway. How can we know anything? Others go astray in cases where they think they have the most perfect knowledge. 
I'm, I'm expecting him to quote some uh, song or an artist. Can you really experience anything objectively? No man's knowledge can go beyond his experience. John Locke. That's from Lost! So he did exactly what I thought it would. Not go for any historical figure, actually quoting from a TV show. Lost, of all things. Primary function. The primary function of the phase 3000 trademark. trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. So we do have the photograph of the body, but we need to find a photograph of uh, the guy. Probably in his hotel room there might be a photograph in a wallet or something. Uh, where do I get a photograph of dead body? We already had a record of official identification do I need from the victim. The phase 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. So a library guard. Burger Shack loyalty card. Driver's license, passport, pilot's license. That's an odd uh, specific uh, license. Pilot's. Like a pilot's license? Sure. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever will work. Okay, we're gonna execute a return, upcode, and leave. Okay, that was fascinating. <clears throat> so we have this. But I still need to get uh, fingerprints and such. I wonder if I can use the fingerprint There's kit. a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the fingerprint tape. Can I use these? I don't want to waste the powder on that. About I need this? To, I don't want to waste the powder on that. I need to dust the murder weapon. That bottle is too muddy to still have prints. Okay. Uh, did I need to stay focused and... Did Reyes have anything? Well, you do have a chainsaw, but that's not the murder weapon, as we all know. What if you use the radio? Is this thing on? Attention, all units! Enough screwing around, I've got a case to solve. See about the man outside the circus singing a copyrighted song. Yeah, that's you two police right here. <laughs> oh man. By the way, any more speck of dusts? I don't see any white specks. Alright, since we have talked to all the machines, how about we go and investigate now? Apparently they're here again. Let's see what they're up to. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Slight? What caused the leak? What caused the leak? Oh yeah, she can talk Well, now. the Hydrotron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. And also, it's a Hydrotron trademark. You never forget the trademark. It's a bag full of plumber tools. Can I pick it up? Oh. New notes. I wonder sure if I... Tron machines are interesting, but glad Reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes. I wonder if they're connected to the reason I'm here. Huh. Suit is tailored. Pigeons need a WC-67 tube. Okay, so we have a new... Ooh. It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Trademark. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. Okay. So even the wrench is a machine. Smart by electronics. Or art by Eltron. Or Eltron. And it's dead, Jim. Okay. Available for rent. Closed forever. Sorry. 
It says, after 34 years <laughs> of serving the Tri-Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. And also, Tri-Thimbleweed area. So that's just like in Monkey Island, they, they have the Tri-Island areas in each game. It's always a trio of islands. Aha! I see that speck of dust. Reyes, you are needed to pick up the dust. Also, let's look at yours, Pigeons need. So, so let's see. Corner seems nice enough. He should be helpful in solving this case. It's quickly left up. Computer power of the draw machines is impressive. I wonder why we've never heard of them before and if they could help in figuring out what the pillow I read that before. This one, blood, photo, insert, yes. But I still need something so I can use it to get the fingerprints. That's what I need. Pick up that speck of dust. It's my specks of dust. We got four now. I'm gonna go back to the uh, corpse if it's still in the river. I'm gonna go to it and uh, see if. Yeah, my record's still going. Sometimes gotta check on the recordings and everything's fine. Uh, recording, recording, recording. Yeah, good, good. The bane of every Let's Player's life. Recording going bad. It has happened to me quite a bit back in the day. When I have forgotten to turn on a recording. Like the, like the audio recording or the game game recording. Or just something goes wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. It has happened too many times in the past. But these days I'm more I'm smarter about that. I make sure that I start recording on everything. So let's see, do we have, does she have anything to swab? There's a fingerprint brush, a small amount of fingerprint powder, but it's missing the, it's been in the water so long, its fingers are waterlogged. Uh, Might as well try to fingerprint a prune. Yeah, that, that would not work. And what the hell is that sound? A drag mark. Hmm, there are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. And yeah, that's what we saw. He got knocked out here, but he didn't get killed here. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. Just draw an onk on it, then it'll open a door. Oh wait, this is not Zack McRaggan. Awoo! We don't really have an item of any kind, so we could swab some blood off of him. That's what I was hoping for, but we don't really have any a cloth or such. Better just keep looking. And also, I hope I find some duct tape or invisible tape of any kind so I can grab a fingerprints eventually. I'm sure... Uh, okay, thanks. Thank you, game, for giving me that advice. That if I just hold down the mouse button, they will follow it. The follow the cursor, that is. Safely first savings. I don't think it's open. It says we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely first savings manager, Mr. El Paulo. I wonder why they're there. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. Fancy schmancy flowers. Cool. All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Although it says fancy nancy flowers, but fancy schmancy is much better in my opinion. S and D diner. It's the S and D diner. I wonder what the S and D stand for. Looks pretty dark down there. Can we go there? Thimblecon 87. 
ThimbleCon 87. It's opening later tonight at the hotel. Cool! We're just in time for it! Well! I did not expect that to happen! Uh, Reyes? There was also a speck of uh, dust. Now we lost all of the stuff! That looks like Agent Ray's notebook. I hope she's okay. Definitely, definitely Agent Ray's notebook. I will, of course, refrain from perusing its contents. Oh, Agent Protocol. Ah. It's an empty <clears throat> box. Pretty disgusting. So we cannot go here. God damn it! I lost the fingerprint stuff and everything. The photo and... The... Even the key card to the hotel. What the hell? Get a bad feeling about this. Up, oh, yep. It's a dime. Just lying there. Lucky day. It's a dime. Yeah, it is a dime. Do we need to play some video game to get the high score so we can get the code to open the safe? I'm making a lot of reference to other LucasArts games. That's what Ron Gilbert was working on. I need to find her. I really, I really need to find her. I got a bad feeling about this. Really, really bad feeling. I'm just gonna go everywhere until I find her. It's just a feeling that she might be around here somewhere. Maybe. Hopefully not. Rip. Hopefully not. Rip. Huh. I shouldn't say anything out loud, but seeing Chuck's tomb in person makes me a little happy inside. Why? Flowers left over from a funeral. Why would you be happy? The heavy rough iron gate to the tomb is closed. But I see a switch inside. Hmm. Any specks of dust around here? I mean, it's a... It's a... Grave... It's a cemetery. There should be. Dust all over the place. Or maybe it's, we're just dusts in the wind. Where could she be? I hope the monster didn't drag her back to the river and kill her? Reyes, move! Gotta move our asses now. I can't reach that. I can't reach that. Yes, you can. I was just double clicking for no reason. By accident, pretty much. Come on, come on, come on. Move, 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 move. <laughs> Ray, are you here? Don't be dead. Ray. Stop hauling. No, she's not here. Okay. Just gotta keep looking. Was there something around here that I... There was a speck of dust. Somewhere around this area. Yep. Come on. Haha! -ha! That speck of dust did not escape from me! That was lucky. That was very lucky of me finding that speck of dust. I can't reach that. I wonder if there's gonna be some kind of a secret ending if you get all of the specks of dust in the game. Probably is. Some kind of an alternative secret ending. I'm sure I'm not gonna find all the specks of dust once I get to the ending. But if I do, then I'm gonna get the secret ending before the, uh, the proper normal ending. I don't know. <sighs> just, just gotta keep on looking. That's what I'm gonna do. Keep on looking. Filled to the brim with smelly trash. No, Ray. Okay, blow out puppy sale. 
Petey's Pet Emporium. The pet store is for rent. Guess no one around here has any pets. I guess nobody cares. Catastrophic clearance. Nice pun. Ricky's Cakes. Oh. I didn't really want to go inside. These aren't cakes, these are all tubes. Hmm. So I cannot read that. A phone book and a payphone. Okay, so I, it, at some point, I apparently I need to call somebody. Can I just pick that up? No, yeah, it just takes a look at it. I do have a dime! I can't reach that. Nothing in there but dust bunnies. Bunny salon. Here today, gone tomorrow. Nice pond there, too. Nothing in there but dust bunnies. Is this the ar an arcade? Yeah, Park Arcade or Arc Arcade, like it says right now. It's got Pac-Man and the ghosts. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. I wanted to play Pac-Man, come on. At least I found a speck of dust. Fids out now. I got a feeling somebody doesn't like us. Nothing beyond this point except the bus station. And a, uh, <clears throat> and a lady. Window closed, window closed. Well, I can see the doors are closed, but, uh... No one is in there. Okay. Hello, legs. How about we take a look at her? No? That Ransom the Clown isn't very popular around here. It says he eats tuna. Oh, tuna isn't that, isn't that bad. I mean, tuna is tasty. I see some of dust. Tuna is tasty, but it gives me atrocious gas. Just atrocious. If by look at you mean smell, I've already done that. Uh, but I mean, by look at, I mean look at, not smell of. Town outskirts. There's no path beyond this point. There's no path beyond this point. Where the heck did that fucker drag Ray to? Let's talk to her. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. You seem to be rich. Why are they traveling in, on a bus? Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck the niece of Chuck. The Edmonds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. Is that so? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Do tell. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. So it must be somebody important. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... A flooring inspector, pirate, a leather jacket salesman. Monkey Island quotes more. <laughs> Call center operative. Flooring inspector? No, 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 no. It was far worse. Really? She became... A video game developer. <gasps> it all no. started a few years back. No flashbacks! No flashbacks! No! She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus Phlegm. 
Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. Hey, don't I've disadventure games. I've got to get games. out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. Mmm, Mucus Flem. A thimble berry pie and a journal. Dolores Pascal. Ready? Aha, <laughs> Commodore 64. Whopper. Hey, Alien and Whopper. That's from War Games. There's Commodore 64 logo. Uh, that's uh, Super Mario Land. Nice references to a lot of things. And also an MSX was there. Print Tron 3000. Trademark. And a trophy, action figures. Susie Boy's Red Gel Decoder, ASCII chart. That's Max Headroom, there's Billy Idol, Albert Seems Einstein. Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. And there's uh, Star Wars, because uh, I can see Darth Vader. Anything else here? I, I guess I can't walk any further. The graphics basic, nice. What computer is this? You got two disk drives, that's a Commodore 64. But you got two disk drives, and a plush toy. Aww. Looks like a chinchilla. It's Lurleen, my pet chinchilla stuffy. Dad gave current. it to me when I was three years old. Oh. It's the math trophy I won when I was 12 and attending a summer program at Thomas Bottoman's School of Mathematics. It's Nerd. made out of solid pewter, except for the infinity symbol, which is pure titanium. Whoa, that Seems is... Seems like the mail should have arrived by now. And uh, stop talking about the mail, and also that is a very... Expensive trophy because if it has a pure titanium in it, man. How about the action These figures? are part of my action figure collection, including my prized Howard the Duck. Ooh, cool. This is my complete set of Tolkien books, including three pristine sets of Lord of the Rings, The Adventures of Tom Bombadil, The Cimmerillion, just to start. I reread them from time to time. Was there a book in The Adventures of Tom Bombadil ever written? I don't remember that. Huh. If there is, it will be a very weird book. This section includes the complete history of Mucus Phlegm, the pointed cool. history of point-and-click graphic adventures, and walkthroughs for all Mucus Phlegm games. Why do you want the walkthroughs? They're much more enjoyable so we'd, without walkthroughs. These are my Chronicle of Narnia and Hitchhiker's Trilogy. I love my books. Cool. Do you have all the five books in the trilogy, though? If you don't, it's not the true trilogy. It's a red gel decoder. How about we pick that up? Yay. It's a red gel decoder. It's one of those where you just put it over your eye and then you look through and you get it separates the red letters out of things and you can see the secret code. If it, it weren't for my monthly computer magazine, being here would totally suck. Um, okay, if you say so. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. It's commendable, I guess. Well, I'm gonna leave it here, and we're gonna continue the adventure of uh, her now, apparently. <clears throat> In a flashback. It's also kind of uh, fascinating that this is told from the perspective of her sister in the future. So, uh, I don't think anything that will be told in this story is accurate at all. But, we'll see. So thank you very- Thank you very much for everybody. English, it's a language, you know. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see Seems you on like the, the next- like the mail should have arrived by now. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video and remember if you're gonna be a nerdy nerd nerd like this, do what she does. Collect all the uh, books uh, for nerds, all the action figures for nerds, and get a trophy. Pure titanium. Worth it. Take care, people. Bye.